Hi everyone! So today we're going to talk about Stern Decides State University email account. Okay, so if you want to have an EPSU email, something like this, having this kind of domain, which is the at EPSU.edu.ph, then we're going to make a sign up in our EPSU email web application. Okay? So all we need to do is first is to open a browser, then type in the address bar, email that .edu .ph, then hit enter, then it will be redirected to this page. Then um, just click employee since we are employing a man. Then the next thing we are going to do since we already have an ESMS account, which is also the employee portal, the employee portal. So, yun ang gagamitin natin dito. Ilalagay natin yung username at saka yung password um, for our na ginamit natin on our employee portal para ma-verify tayo na we are part of the Stern Visayas State University. Okay? And after doing that, we also need to click this one that I am not a robot. Okay? So, once you do that, just click verify. So, after the successful um, verification of your account, you will be redirected to this page. So, we are going to fill this out, this form. So, we need to set yung name natin, yung campus, at saka yung department. So, just a note, your name will be the basis of your EBS email address. So, please do not include any special characters on it like um, asterisk, slash, and a number sign. And so on, because it will cause an error on the creation of your EBSU email address. Okay, so let's try to fill it out. Okay, so after that, just click um, next. Okay, so as you can see, we already have this generated EBSU email based on the name that we have provided earlier. Now let's try to fill out in other fields na tayo. So for the password, just a note, you should provide a strong password. It should have at least eight characters with a mix of uppercase letters from A to Z except NA. Lowercase letters from A to C except also with NA. The numbers from 0 to 9 and also symbols, which is this samples here. Okay, then for your recovery email, um, note again, your recovery email um, should be outside the at ebsu.edu.ph domain like at gmail.com or at yahoo.com. And it should be a working email. And then for the recovery form, you should um, the recovery phone should be in the in this format, okay? So this will not be validated properly. Otherwise, okay. Another note: your recovery phone should be in this format. Otherwise, it will not be validated properly, okay? So um, we need to provide a working and or active recovery email and also. Um, recovery form. Kasi, if ever makalimutan natin yung password natin sa ating EBSU account or EBSU email address, um, we can easily recover naman since we provided yung mga active recovery information or data. Okay? So, let's try to fill it out. Okay, after doing that, just click submit. And let's try to confirm our, our, our action. Okay, so now we successfully made the request. So it says here, thank you. Hi, Juan de la Cruz. Thank you for your request. Your email address, your EBSU email address rather is juan.delacruz at EBSU.ero.ph. Please don't forget your password, recovery email, and recovery phone that you set because you will use it to access or recover your account. 
please be patient to wait for about 1 to 24 hours before your request will be validated. Thank you. Actually, hindi naman siya umaabot ng 24 hours before ma-validate yung sa request. But of course, there are some instances na gumalampas ng 24 hours. Kasi yung mga request po ay hindi lang po nanggagaling sa main campus. Ito ay nanggagaling din po sa external campuses. Okay po? And um, lahat na po yun, mga request, lahat na employees request at saka um, students request. Okay po? But of course, the team, the ICT department, are doing its best naman na para ma-accommodate lahat na mag-grant natin yung mga request nyo for EBSO email. Okay po? Okay. Now, sabihin natin, paano natin malalaman if meron na ba tayong account or nag-grant na ba yung request natin? All we need to do is to check request status. Click lang natin to. And ilagay natin dito yung lawyer portal login details natin. Okay? Then just click submit. We're going to scroll down. Makita natin to. So, you request that an EBSU email address. Please be patient to wait for about 1 to 24 hours from the time you made the request. Thank you. So, ito naman yung email na kayo na So, basically, um, nasa in progress pa po yung request natin na part. Okay? So, paano natin malalaman kung nag-error tayo or successful yung request natin? Okay? So, may mga situation na makukonsider na invalid request yung isang request. Kagayang ito. Your password is invalid. Please provide a strong password. So, based on the criteria natin dito, and based on password na pre-provide ng user, is he provided a character na NA. But based on our criteria, dapat hindi kasali yung NA. Okay? Except NA. And also, meron siyang dito ang plus sign. Na kung saan sa symbol, wala namang plus sign. Okay? So, that's one of the reason kung bakit makukonsider yung isang request na invalid request. If that's the case na mag-error kayo, yung request nyo, makonsider na katulad nito, then, um, you can make a request again naman. Okay? So, yun lang naman. Then, you are going to make a request again. And ito na. Yung next request natin. And once okay na yung na-provide mo mga information, once once ma-validate na siya, then ito na yung makikita natin. Your request for EBSU email was successfully granted. You may now log into your account. So, our EBSU email is powered by Google. Click login now to proceed to the login form. Okay, so we are now um, successful na yung, or granted na yung request natin having this kind of email address. Now let's try to log in. So um, let's try to type our email address and then just click next. Then provide our password na naset natin during the sign up process. Okay, then click next. Then this is the next thing we're going to do. Just click accept. Okay, so we are now logged in to our EBSU email account. Okay. Okay, so that's how we make a request to our EBSU email. Okay, for our EBSU email, and then um, that's how we check the status of our request if nagrant na ba yung request natin o di kaya nagerror tayo. Okay. So, I hope to give you a overview kung paano natin magamit yung web application na ginawa on making a request for EBSU email. Okay po?